um, before I was on the ferry, I was at uh, a parcel company and I, I worked there for 26 years. Because I used to live on the car wall side and I worked in Wollstone. I used to cross every day, so I used to cross in the morning and cross at night. And the chap that used to take me across was Derek Warburton. What happened was, um, I had a really, two really bad accidents. But obviously my body was saying, oh, you've got to slow down. So I was talking to Derek and he said, well, why don't you come onto the ferry and, and work with me? We work it together. That's what I did. And I went from being completely stressed in a driving job to no stress at all. It's just so relaxing and it's nice to meet people that want to come down to see the ferry and go over on the ferry and health wise be, being so stressed before I was I was I was living on my nerves and then once I started doing this job obviously that just all went away and, and it just got so relaxing I used to start at four before when I was driving when I was delivering I used to be up at four and I was actually started work at five so as soon as I woke up, I'm working, I'm thinking about work, about delivery. Whereas now, I find it hard to get out of bed in the morning because I know that when I get to my destination, I'm not going to be stressed. Well, it's nice because you know that, you know, we take it for granted. I mean, I've lived in Cowell all my life and I just basically just take it for granted. Whereas you get people that come down and they're absolutely amazed by it and you can't believe that it's still here. You get the amount of people that have been down and said, I've heard about this or ferry that goes across the canal and not believing that it's still running in this day and age. But it's been going now for like 102 years really, so it's basically 103 years and, and a lot of people come down and say I didn't know this was here. Mainly now the people that use it are um, bird watchers, walkers. In the summer we get quite a lot of people that will come over and what they do is they'll do a circuit and they'll incorporate the ferry. They'll get onto the ferry and go over to the side and then they'll go around on the circuit. Also on the opposite side there's a there's a plot of land called the Thalwall Eye and um, it's now a pretty well known bird sanctuary and apparently there's a lot of really rare species of birds that, that nest on there so you get a lot of bird watchers coming down from all over the country that want to see these birds but this this boat we've had about two years now cool from the back just a single one it's come from somewhere else on the Manchester Canal from a, another lock or something like that yeah it's quite antique there's no um, we've got gas but there's no electricity so it can be quite bleak in the winter. And this here, Terence Jones Barmer, Thelwell Ferryman, died in ferry boat on Wednesday the 4th of December 1974. So you've got all these things that people have written on, just what ferrymen have written on over the years. Found sunk, yes sunk, on January the 3rd, 1976. Well, it'll have to really, because the only way that they can close the ferry is to go through Parliament. It can only be closed through Parliament. You know, they can't just come along and say, "Oh, this ferry is now closed." Uh, yeah, it's, it's a right of way. People need to get across from one side to the other. So I can just see it going on. I don't know how long for. <laughs> way past <laughs> me being here, as I should imagine.